Hey guys, it has been a busy day today, but guess what? I made it into the 280s. I am so excited. I can't even tell you how excited I am. I lost exactly two pounds, so I am 289.4. So apparently I've been really liking the point fours lately because that's what I've been the last three weeks in a row But I've been losing exactly two pounds a week, and I am very very happy with With getting into the 280s this week, especially since Thanksgiving was yesterday I was so nervous that because Thanksgiving was yesterday I was gonna gain weight, but I didn't and I am so stoked about it So today we were able to sleep in some I'm using my new camera today, and I'm super excited about that It's a lot easier to hold and to record with It is super windy here today. We were just out checking out some of the Black Friday sales I don't I'm not a huge gung-ho Black Friday person. I worked at Toys R Us two years in a row for Black Friday and it just kind of put a bad taste in my mouth for Black Friday. So I go out usually later in the day for the sales. So, But yeah, we're on our way home now and we're going to set up our Christmas tree today. So hopefully I'll get to record some of that for you guys. <laughs> Yeah, see, even Mr. Calvin likes the veggie straws. Is that a healthy snack? <laughs> Is that a healthy snack? <laughs> yeah. Is that a healthy <laughs> snack? <gasps> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, so we are here getting ready to set up the tree. We have barely started. There's the, the pole and here is our living room full of branches. I don't know about you guys, but with my family, we always had a tree like this with the individual branches and whenever we would set up the tree, we'd get the whole family together, we'd fluff up the branches and then everybody would get to put some branches on the tree. And that was always really fun for me. I know now they have like the, the three-piece trees that you just kind of flop open and bush up. But, you know, I really, I really enjoy getting to uh, fluff up the branches and put it together. It, I guess it's just kind of nostalgic for me because it's how we did it growing up. And we always did it the, the day after Thanksgiving was when we put our tree up. We would put our tree up the day after Thanksgiving and then try to take it down New Year's Day. So that's how we did it. How, when did your family do their Christmas tree? I don't think we had a set time. Yeah? But it was probably after Thanksgiving, between Thanksgiving and Christmas. <laughs> well, I would hope so. I think sometimes it was the week before Christmas. Oh yeah? And sometimes it was maybe the day after Thanksgiving. Hmm. Yeah, with us, we always tried to do it the day after Thanksgiving. Um, there are very few times where that didn't pan out. Um, and we didn't always do an artificial tree. We, um, you know, when it was, it was always kind of a special treat when we would get a real tree. Um, I have a lot of allergies in my family, so it's difficult to do a real tree because then, like, my mom, my brother can't touch the tree at all without, like, itching everywhere. So we tended to just do the artificial tree and it was a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, we're in the process of doing that now. It's after 10 o'clock. We were hoping to do it earlier, but you know, with kids, it is difficult to do anything on your time frame. You know, because you never know when they're, when they're going to wake up from their naps and when they're going to decide the world is coming to an end and they need you to just hold them for the rest of the day. So we haven't, it hasn't been <laughs> easy to get this started. So we're just going to set the tree up tonight. We're not going to decorate it at all. We really want our, our daughter to be able to um, help us with that. Last year she was only one and so she didn't really understand it. But this year I think she'll understand it a bit better and we really want her to be able to help us set it up. Um, 
As far as how my day went um, for my my lifestyle change, I, I, th I feel like it was really good. I had a really good boost of energy this morning after finding out that I am in the 280s. And, you know, I, I had toast for breakfast, one of my favorite things of all time. And, oh, I made um, some really good chicken enchiladas for dinner tonight, and it was with a Greek yogurt white sauce. I will post the link to the recipe that I based it off of. I rarely follow recipes to the T. Um, most of the time I'll tweak them to how I know I like things. Um, this particular recipe called for cilantro. I'm not a huge fan of cilantro. And it called for green onions, and I, and I didn't have green onions. So I just kind of tweaked it a bit to my liking. Um, it calls for, like, cumin and um, cayenne pepper and the, the basic things that are in taco seasoning. So I just used taco seasoning because it was easier. But, but yeah, it, they were so good. They turned out really, really good. So I will post the link to the original recipe. Um, and, and then yeah, I've, I've drank a lot of water today. I, I wasn't feeling too good, good earlier, so I was able to take a nap today, which was really, really great for me. I was able to just like curl up with my, my hot rice pack and just take a nap, and it was great. And, and you know, that's something that you have to sometimes, li you know, just listen to your body. Your body knows when you need to take a break and when you need to rest. I didn't realize how much I needed to rest. How long was my nap? Like two hours? About that? Yeah, my nap was probably about two hours. So I did not realize I needed it so much and I had to like drag myself out of bed. And then I kind of had to convince myself to make a healthy dinner too. There was, I, at one point I told Dan, I was like, maybe we should just order a pizza and um, and I was so close to ordering that pizza, and then I was just like, no, I've done too well this week. My free day is tomorrow. I don't want to, I don't want to give up now. <laughs> so, so yeah, it was, it's, but it's been a good day. We were able to get some shopping done, some Christmas shopping done, and so yeah, we're just setting up the tree, fluffing up some branches, and listening to some Christmas music, and that's, that's how my day was. It was really, it was really good. I can't really complain about my day. Um, and you know, I would really love to know how your guys' journey is going. Please leave comments on my videos and tell me how you're doing. I want to know. I want, I want your feedback. I want to know your successes and I want to be there to support you when you're not doing so great. So just let me know and, um, and yeah, I will I will see you in the next video and I hope you are having a great day.